Hey everyone, in this video tutorial I'll show you how to change color of a particular cell uh, by their index values. So we'll be uh, writing a macro uh, where I'll be entering any number in a cell and it will give me corresponding uh, color uh, for, for that particular cell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an event uh, for worksheet chain because when I'm saying that uh, I need to trigger something on uh, change of a cell basically I'll be changing the value of a cell so I need to uh, use worksheet change event and target would be my range so let's first define the range uh, so only in this particular area when I'll be changing something that event will be fired otherwise it won't be fired right so let's uh, write the coordinates of these uh, cells uh, basically the corners so 8th row, 2nd column, 15th row, 2nd column and this one is 8th row and 7th uh, column and similarly 15th row and 7th column ok so I need to uh, apply the criteria or I need to just bound the uh, event to run only for this range so target I am getting every time when uh, there is a, a worksheet change event so I will specify a condition that if my target dot row uh, is greater than uh, uh, equal to 8 right and it is less than equal to 15 that means the row number lies between 8 and 15 and uh, for columns I will be specifying that uh, my column number should uh, lie between 2 and 7 so here I will put and target dot column uh, greater than equal to and uh, less than equal to 7 in that case I will uh, write my logic so inside this if condition I will just put uh, if this is true then uh, target dot interior dot color index so I will be setting uh, the background color for that particular cell that particular target I am not saying cell uh, because uh, cell uh, is a single cell but uh, target may be a range or a single cell it will change the background color of that range but when I am using target dot value it is specifically for a cell and not for a range that's why uh, when I am uh, performing any action on a range it gives me error so in that case I need to do all the handlings right so if I specifically show it uh, for for one cell then uh, what you can see here or, or if uh, I put a condition that if target dot cells dot count equals one only in that case perform this action otherwise don't do so this will uh, avoid all the cases when I'll be copying or pasting something to a range or in fact when I'm deleting uh, various cells uh, in one go right so let's see how we handle it uh, I am just uh, putting this uh, else block as well that uh, what it need to do when it is not true so now if I put values in one cell it gives me corresponding color for for that cell uh, here you see the numbers right uh, when I am putting some numbers outside the range nothing is happening but when I am putting numbers inside the range it is changing numbers but now when I am deleting everything uh, let's say this range nothing is happening right so the reason is because I have applied a condition that perform the action only when the count of cells in that target range is 1 otherwise don't do anything but I still need to cater this thing see when I am deleting these cells individually it is resetting the color but when I am deleting a range it is not doing anything right so for range also I need to uh, set a condition that uh, I will be just resetting the colors for all the cells so I'll be uh, iterating it through loop for all the cells in the target for each cell in the target right and uh, I'll be just resetting the color or you can say I'm refreshing the color of that cell so cell dot interior dot uh, color index equals target dot value or you can say cell dot value in fact because target is a range now so cell is just uh, one uh, cell of that range right now I'm again uh, changing numbers or cells so now I'm deleting a whole set in one go and it is refreshing it the another problem is the color index values 
uh, lie between 0 and 56 what if I give value above that in that case even it will enter in this condition and uh, return a error so I can put a condition on the top uh, if target dot value obviously this will work when I'm uh, talking about only one set but what will happen if uh, I'm going to change for uh, for multiple cells again target dot value will fail so I always need to avoid target dot value when I'm talking about range because it dot value works on a cell not on a range right so see what happens now if I put it outside and try to do something it okay uh, okay I need to change to and if now if I run it see nothing is happening for for one values right but when I'm deleting these it gives me this error because on the top of it we have applied this condition it is not reaching inside it where we have implemented the uh, refresh logic for cells right so I'm uh, putting the condition here inside it that when the cell count is one only in that case do this particular thing otherwise don't do this thing also I need to uh, put here while refreshing as well so I'm putting this condition here as well right so now uh, let's try it so I delete it what does it say now type mismatch if target dot this is this okay oh, this is not target here in this loop it should be cell because we are iterating uh, here in the whole range right so now when I run it it is now working fine another case uh, what uh, if I enter any text or a non numeric thing here so it is already handled why because we have applied condition that uh, uh, the value for that particular target should be greater than equal to zero or one or all we all the logics we have implemented here are in numeric terms and uh, we have not uh, defined any variables here not uh, uh, hard coded that uh, or not defined anywhere that this particular thing would be a numeric only so excel automatically identifies and recognize the data type and uh, returns nothing if it is a text right because when it is going to assign target dot value uh, in data dot color index don't give anything when it is a text it will work only when it is a number and that number should be only between 0 and 56 obviously it will give error after 56 but it does not return error for text values right another thing uh, you are able to see the uh, text uh, color there we only change the background color you can also change the text color here as well so now you only see the color not the values though you can see the values uh, on the top here in the formula bar here and like this so this is uh, pretty much about uh, this tutorial if you have any con confusion or questions uh, regarding uh, color indexes or uh, regarding changing colors of cell you can write to me obviously goodbye